Elizabeth. How has she got a heartbeat? Do we have a heartbeat? No, my friend. We have a heartbeat. But come back to me soon. Because I never see my own heartbeat. It's like I, I just start to think I'm figuring things out. And then I, ju I, I completely lose it. I could be the most confused vampire that's ever existed. So I have to present myself at the Ascalon Club, but I do think I should tie up some loose ends before I do. It would actually seem that I am heading to the West End. I don't know where I am now, whether this is part of the West End District or Whitechapel, but this is where I'm supposed to be going. Before I do that, though, I want to clear up a few things. I have three people with colds, and I would kind of like to talk to Miss Shun as well. Yes, I would. And maybe a few other people and see if I now have any more clues. See if I can raise this from serious to stable. That would be nice. Yes, it would. Which means... So. Time to visit the Ascalon Club. No, it does not mean that. Quite the opposite, I've just said. I'm arguing with myself. It is time to just head straight up there. Does that come through, or would that be the best way to go? I don't actually know. But this is all new territory for me, isn't it? Yes, it is. What was... Okay. Whoa. What the hell? I'm gonna loot this. Okay, that's one of those, um... Oh, God, I've forgotten the name. Begins with a V. But out of curiosity, is he going to be hostile to me? Probably. I have to... Wonder why though? Don't they work for the Ascalon Club? He's hostile. He's hostile. Yes, he is. He is. Right, come here, you. Why are you hostile? Hmm. I mean, it seems odd. Ooh, good trigger parts. Nice. Very nice. Nothing else? All right. What was up here? Oh, I... Oh, no. Let's go there in a second. Finn's Theatre. Where's this heading? That is actually the direction I want to go, but... I do... I do want to get the lay of the land. This area seems to be more of an... Oh, you just killed a bunch of um, of the Watsits. But you're going to attack me, aren't you? Aren't you? Don't you know better? Yes, apparently. You'd think I would, wouldn't you? Oh, 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 oh he's gone for a shield. Nice, nice one. I'm going to wait for your shield to disappear, though. Is it? You didn't wait for mine to disappear. Idiot. And I'm the newborn. This is... Oh, God, you're actually tougher than I thought, though. Okay, how many blows does your shield take? Oh. <laughs> Did I confuse you by walking downstairs? I'm sorry. You're feeble. That was stupid. <laughs> oh. Right. Do they new posters or old posts? Doris Fletcher in Madame Butterfly, A Tragedy of Japan by David Belasco, adopted from John Luther Long. Royal Garden Hall, address, Red Crown Street, London. This is all new. 
Royal Garden Theatre, Clyde Fitch presents Doris Fletcher, Sappho. Is this an area I've been? Oh, that's the area I went through to get to Lady Ashbury's. New dialogue? Oh. Did I not exhaust the conversation? For some odd reason, my vampire senses are tingling and telling me that I should chat with her some more. That is interesting. You. I don't need the blood yet. So let's. There you go. Didn't even need it. Just clearing the streets at the moment so I can run around unopposed. I think I should perhaps talk to Lady. Quarantine. Um, before I go and talk to the Ascalon Club. Yes, I do. Right. Oh. Oh, it's someone with a bow. Timed that badly, didn't I? However, all over now. Yes, it is. Yeah, I do think I should speak to Lady Ashbury before I speak to them. But I, 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 I am going to go to Whitechapel and clean up the little bit of mess that's currently there. I think I can do that before speaking. To Lady Ashbury, yes, I can. So I go down. I can either go through here and go the way I used to go in, or I could try this entrance. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yes, I. Oh, it's one of those dudes. All right, let's take this guy out. Oh, that's not actually what I wanted to do. However, it's got my. Oh no, not him! Not him! We cannot be I really, really do not like that. Back, demon. Get back, get back. When he says that, good idea to actually listen to him. Oh, damn it. Oh, I really hate them. Yes, I did. I am here to step back. Uh, how? F Just stay out the sight of it. Right, get the shield up. Okay, does my shield protect me against? No. Oh, yes, it did. Protect me against the uh, the sunlight thing as well. I'm assuming that's kind of like holy light or sunlight equivalent. And just keep heading down here. Yes, indeed. Oh. But not go that way. That Die goes to the west end. All right, that's all the vampires. You you guys can play. Have fun. Not interested in getting involved. Right. Now, there's a lot of blood around here. There is. Um, Who, what, and where? Oh, right, I'm on the track, so I've got to get all the way to there and then... All right, fair enough, I think I can do that. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! So they killed one, and oh. Column. That was the vampire I saw earlier. 
This war takes no prisoners. Could you be quiet over there? Really? Blah, blah. Oh, you know what, I think I'm going to go down there and take those gentlemen out, in spite of the fact that that's the way I'm supposed to be going. Right, has, have I got my Jay ultimate? Boy. Yes! Oh, okay, that was... And... Come on. I want to get some blood. That's what I was looking for. Almost ran out of stamina there. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You timed that badly, mate. Right. Just you. Oh, God. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Right. So, does he have... I cause threat. What on earth is that? Of all the evil and foul skulls I ever had to fight, the Icor or Ecor may be the worst. Not because of its fighting prowess, even if it remains a powerful and dangerous opponent, not because of its superior wit or cunning plans. An Icor is quite blunt and straightforward in his actions and objectives. Spread disease. Spread diseases, contagions, and epidemics whenever and wherever it can. An Icor is the incarnation of viruses and infections. Wherever it goes, sicknesses appear and quickly spread. It is like it only walks this earth to generate plagues and epidemics, as if its skin itself diffuses sickness. Icors are clever, sneaky, malevolent, and ferocious, capable of enduring many wounds. To spoil a water tank, a granary, or a banquet, this is the kind of things an Icor would enjoy to do, in order to please its putrid and perverse nature. So they just do it for the lols. They are so rare that we do not know anything about them. The Lazy Brotherhood believes that they should not be considered vampires or scowls, but as something else. But I know, all I know is this, an Icor must be destroyed by all means necessary as soon as it is spotted. From Know Your Enemies by Carl Eldridge, Prewin Leader. So this is something I've not yet discovered. It's not the thing making the bleh noise over there, is it? See, now, now, now I feel like I want to know. Yes, I do. Did you have anything? No. Can I get over there? Oh. That is locked. Ill-formed Daz... Right, no, it's just a standard scout. Okay. Stay on target. We're getting to Whitechapel. That is our current plan. I think this is probably the... Yes. Right, this takes me through to Whitechapel. And I have three people to... Fine. District status serious, yes. Rats. Heartbeats of rats. I actually do need some blood, but I was actually trying to catch a rat. <laughs> Never mind, I'll take that as a Albert Palmer, you're not one of the people who is sick, are you? No, it's Richard Nithercott, that's the poet. It is the woman selling the fake cure, and it is Xiao Xun. I may as well talk to him while I'm here, just in case. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. Seriously, I did give you some medication. I have been helping you out. Have conditions improved in Whitechapel? I'm ready for whatever's coming. All right, that didn't actually Goodbye, answer young man. my question, did it? No, it did not. Because I, I was hoping it, it, it had climbed a fraction. Hello. Good evening, my dear colleague. Please don't call me colleague. Uh, before we do anything... You look ill, Miss Swanborough. 
I wonder if your concoction will do the trick. <laughs> I have no doubt it will. But I'm not against a second opinion, Dr. Reed. Yeah, of course you're not. Well, there you have it. Take this remedy, but be discreet. It may damage your business otherwise. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Do I have... Do I have anything? Tell me, who intrigues you most in Whitechapel? The region itself is something to see, but I would say... Camellia the mute florist who gives away her flowers. All right, that's a... Is there anyone I should avoid? I mean, I seem to be getting a hint that I've missed something. But it's not instantly obvious. How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? When people buy guns instead of medication, it means they have already traded hope for fear in their hearts. In my book, that's never a good thing, Doctor. <sighs> that's... True. Goodbye, Miss Swanborough. Perhaps we'll talk again. The Swanborough Cordial can be the answer to all your problems. As Wait. long as you have the money. Good evening, Benjamin. Can I help you? This is the I'm father of the not, boy. Mr. Reed. This is not... You are not one of the ill people. No, you're not. And I don't think there's anything else for you to uh, fill me in on. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. This elixir okay. will give you faith again. Moving on. Okay, that's the landlord. You're not ill, but I do wonder. Mr. Bates. Evening, Doctor. Oh, he sounded a bit aggressive. Still think about your attack. Mm, hint required there. I need to get... Goodbye, Mr. Bates. I need to get another clue to unlock him. That sounds a little mechanical, doesn't it? Like I'm talking about people as though they were machines to be tinkered with. Oh. Oh, that's... That was terrible. That was appalling. Yep. Stupid. But... And can I... Oh! Some disease is going on there. Oh! I thought I had a freak. What the... Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. That... I am going to... I have to find out what those are. They can't just be called beasts, sure. Bang! Right. If the poet's still around here, I'm going to have to wonder how he's managed to survive. There are some fairly serious beasties here. That, yeah, that's... Oh, no. Oh, no, I can't even get through there. How is he surviving this? Unless they're afraid of... Maybe they are. Maybe they're just afraid of going on hallowed ground. Is that... Who's that? You're the... You're good evening, the second Mr. person I need to and cure. Good evening to you too, my good sir. Can I be of any help? I don't know. Do you need medical attention, sir? It may be wise to let you prescribe me something. I don't feel like I should. There you go. I understand Again. your appetite for words and macabre beauty, sir. But you should be more careful. The nutrition of my mind is more important than my physical health. But I appreciate your concern, sir. Right. Do you have anything new? The mute florist is part there. Here we go. How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? I imagine we are all part of some nightmare without beginning nor ending. If only the dreamer could awake. Right, that was not helpful. I'll leave you alone, sir. Is this... who I'm looking for? No, this is the mute florist. Hello again, miss. I'm going to guess you're not going to... Oh. How are you doing since Dorothy's death? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh. Tell me, Camellia, how are things now the dispensary is closed? 
Why do I even have this? <laughs> Very well. Goodbye, then. I have got to figure out how to make her talk. I've seen something glow. There's, there's, there's got to be something... Some way I can communicate with... Oh. Editor refusal letter. Sycophant Publishing Limited, Lavender Court. Uh, dear Mr. Nithercott, thank you for sending your book of poems, Songs from the Defeated City, which we found as interesting and profound as we told you the first time we received it. Alas, in terrible times our company is currently facing, you must understand that the title would be totally inappropriate for any publication. Thus, since you still refuse to change your title and demand full publication or none of your work, I'm sorry to announce that Sycophant Publishing closed the second option with Candice Ricard's A.G. Morris. Okay. Good evening, Mr. Nithercott. And good evening to you too, my good sir. Can I be of any help? Is it personal questions or the life in London? It's probably going to be a personal question. Right. You don't really make a living from your scribblings, do you, Richard? No, sir, I don't. I work so hard. I put all my time, my energy, my devotion into the precise carving of words. And then you fail. Still, you don't seem to suffer from poverty. With thanks to my parents, actually. I'm afraid I would not be able to live on my own without their help. You seem embarrassed. Someday I hope to proudly offer my first publication to my parents. Until that day, I'll remain the failure of a son they have to support. Ooh, right. So he's never succeeded whatsoever, and he feels bad because he's relying on mommy and daddy. That's pretty much everyone in his social circle. Right. I've still got a few people I need to find information on, actually. I really do. There's a load of people here I have not totally understood. However, the main mission is now to find Miss Shun. I'll leave you alone, sir. Cure her of her cold so it doesn't spread and make the neighborhood worse. Because I believe that is what happens. Of course, then the million dollar question is where will I find her? Will I find her in this area or, or does this classify? Does this classify? Okay. I don't know if this classifies as... Uh, as Whitechapel. I don't really know where she lives is what I'm saying. Let's check this area first. Completely... Oh, and he also talked to... Talk to everyone, just in case. Okay, that's Petresk. What is their blood on? Okay, there is a bloody handprint here. Have I been in here before? I do not think so. Probably going to be filled with scowls? Or is it a safe house? Uh, just not a very safe one at the moment. I get the feeling I've been in here, you see. I do. For some odd reason. I win it, win it, win it. Have I been in here? Because it looks mostly looted. Yes, it does. I've definitely been in here. This is, this is just... Oh, I was about to say ringing a bell, but now it's... Now it's not ringing some... Oh, it is, it is. This is, this is one of the safe houses. Okay, um, let's just break some stuff down. Make sure I've got all my serums. I now have enough I still don't have any phosphorus or sodium hydroxide. I should keep looking at the traders. I didn't look at the trader. Should have, maybe. Maybe I could just go for extra damage. It's, oh, I want the stun points. Right, you know what? I'm going to upgrade 
the shotgun. And I'm going to go for these stun points because that sounds nice. And then I really do actually want something that has fire damage, I think. I mean, this, this is already doing a lot of damage now. I need a lot more trigger parts for this. Yeah. Okay. So. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh. I had no idea they were here. I still haven't found Miss... Oh, don't, don't, don't. Let him hit you. And then I want to stun him. Oh. oh, I want to stun him to take his blood as well, but never mind. Well, you guys the only ones here? What was... Oh, Ooh, stuff, 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 stuff. I can't remember where this is going to come out. I really cannot remember where this is coming out. Ra okay, so we're down here. Where is this woman? <laughs> it's going to be the death of me, this is. Right. I suppose it could be in this neighborhood. But you know what? I just... Right, there you go. Oh. Which is the most likely direction. There's a large beast down there. I mean, I can usually see live people from quite far away. I normally can. That heads back down there. That's definitely not the way I want to go. I think that, right, temporarily is where I want to go. That was a Pruin. But then I don't think I'm going to find her there either. No, I don't. Is she going to be closer to the graveyard? She probably is. She's probably a lot closer to the graveyard. That area probably counts as Whitechapel. I know the blind guy was in an area over there, and he he's on my list. Let's just... No, it's not you. That is the graveyard. And she should have left there back for Whitechapel. I, I honestly don't think she's in this area at all. Because I don't actually... I don't see her. And you usually you can see living people quite clearly. And... Oh, God. You know what? I managed to get past you. But there's nowhere to jump to this time, so just. And you gonna hit me? <laughs> yeah. Bam! And a top one. I don't know how far I can actually sense people. How far do I need to be to sense? Right. I can sense him. Oh, there's someone up. There's somebody up there. All right. Is there two of them? So I can. So vampires do have heartbeats. That is interesting, isn't it? Your feet. That is very interesting. Who would have known that? And, and apparently we can be out of breath as well. So when we say undead, it, it really is a pretty bad description. We're, we're, we're not dead at all. If we've got a heartbeat, we can get out of breath, which means we've got 
some sort of uh, aerobic activity going on. I mean, overall, that to me sounds like we're alive, just different. Do I leave them? Yeah, I can't be bothered. I'm still on the lookout for this woman, this widow. But I, I'm at a bit of a loss as to where I might find her. Yeah. Okay! Wait. Oh, right, yeah. You're probably not going to be too... Happy. Good evening, Mr. Petrescu. What are you doing here? I could ask you the exact same question, Mr. Doctor. Now leave me alone. Yeah, Lord, I really am very sorry. How do you feel about Nurse Crane? Just... How is he gonna feel? Of course he's gonna be annoyed. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Right. Are you not worried for her safety? Who is she with? I've got- Are you not worried for her safety? She is as brave as she is tough and clever too. If only There's I something met her here that I'm younger. missing, you according to the. Don't be stupid. If I, I mean, had met her when I was younger, bright, we could have won our revolution. Who is she, really? Do you know where she's from? She's not from around here. <gasps> that's all we know. Could she be the vampire? Amelia. The is whatever not it was. Her name. It's her favorite flower. You say she has no close family. Well, there's that awful poet who constantly Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've up. had this conversation. Why is it showing it as... Ugh. Why not publish Nithicott's work? We've had this Did one as well. you refuse to publish Richard Nithicott's previous works, Darius? Yes. His manuscript is as pompous as he is All right, so... I now, don't know why. Who loves the sound of his own voice. You could have told him so. As a great writer recently said, politeness is the most acceptable hypocrisy. Uh, okay. See, now it's... I heard what happened to Nurse Crane. How do you feel, Mr. Petrescu? Everything was going well until you arrived. I know. Dorothea helped people and will be sorely missed. I know. I regret it too. I wish she'd continued working at the Pembroke Hospital. She was a good nurse. So you put an end to the operation? No, no! Did you put an end to Dorothea as well? You seem to have a lot on your chest, sir. What's wrong? I heard you are a famous surgeon. Tell me, what did you do to Dorothea? She was so bright, so clever. Then you made her an empty shell. I, I didn't use drugs or medical trickery, Mr. Petrescu. All I did was talk to Nurse Crane. I promise you. But what happened to her then? After you left, she did not even recognize me. Then she got careless and sick, and I had to flee. Maybe I should lie and say, well, it was the guy we were working on. She caught something from him. Uh, you know what? I don't think there's anything left to, to... What are you going to do now? Yeah, that is... What do you plan to do now that Nurse Crane is gone? I'm not sure. Strange men came to see me after Dorothea's death with strange weapons and very odd stories. Ah, that would be the guard of Prewen. What kind of stories? Stories all Romanian children know. It was as if I was home again. Vampires, Mr. Doctor. Vampires. Yeah, do you believe them? You believe them? Aren't you too old to hold a weapon or listen to scary stories? Yes, I am old and alone and will die soon, but... If these stories are true, maybe I have found myself another cause. Oh. Did 
Do I have to take him out to stop him joining the the vampire hunters? Oh. Are you living on the streets, Mr. Petrescu? And why not? Those who believe they'll be safe behind walls are blind. Yeah, that is true, to some degree. What about your house? My house is always open to any poor soul needing a roof. All my work here is lost now that Dorothea is gone, thanks to you. <sighs> Dude. I'd like to say it wasn't my fault, but I know it was. But I just, it wasn't intentional. Why are you so aggressive? Cause that's why. Why are you so aggressive? I remember the night you came here and convinced me to open my door to you, sir. I'd like to punch you right on your chops. I would not do that if I were you. All right. Let's just do I, Even though I know the answer. How is the sanitary situation in Whitechapel? Terrible, to say the least. Maybe now you understand the importance of Dorothea's work here. But you never cared, did you? I did care. There isn't just one way to be helpful. There isn't just one way to help Whitechapel. Your way seems to attract sorrow and despair, Mr. Doctor. Your kind of care is not what Whitechapel needs. Well, that's fine. But here's the thing, dude. When you're helping Whitechapel, that's one thing. But when you're blackmailing other people, you have got to expect other people to come and say, excuse me, I might have a tiny bit of a problem with that. Jeez. <laughs> That's quite an accusation. Stop pretending, Mr. Doctor. All you wanted was to confront Dorothea. You never intended to help Whitechapel's people. That is exactly what I'm doing right now. Trying to help people at Whitechapel. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. Trying to find people to cure and make people better and save people. And Dorothea... Oh, where, where, where is she? Where? The answer to all your problems. Where, 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 where is she? Where is she? Oh, dude, if I've lost her because of you, I am going to be... Oh, there she is. All right. Okay. Oh. Are you robbing people? I mean, I do the Pain same. has made me blind. There are so many people who could use my help here. Are you blind? Wait. Good evening, Xiao Shu. Wang Shanghao, Dr. Reed. It's good to see you again. Okay, uh, before we do anything, let's... How do you feel? Cure your cold. speaking, I mean. I don't feel good, Dr. Reed. Not at all. All right. You should recover quickly after taking this. Thank you, Doctor. So, we've not actually spoke much. What are you doing for a living? What are you doing with your time, now that you're back in Whitechapel? I've decided to help the poor and sick of the neighborhood by handing out medicine. Okay, why do it at night? That's very charitable of you. But why do it at night? I've noticed that the most desperate people tend to go out after dark. Hence my presence. To help them when I can. Okay. Giving out medicine? How can you afford to do that? I am a rich widow, Dr. Reed. My departed husband left me enough money to last the rest of my life. I can spend some on those who don't have any. Okay. That's nice. Move to a better neighborhood. Well, she's not going to be able to do a job of helping poor, desperate people if she moves to a neighborhood without poor and desperate people. But you know what? I... Why don't you move to a better neighborhood? I thought about it, I confess. To go back to the same empty home every day still hurts me a lot. Why stay here then? I am a woman of habit, Dr. Reed. And for now, I am happier being useful in a familiar place than I would be anywhere else. Uh, that's fair enough, I guess. How do you feel now that you're back in Whitechapel? I've decided to follow your advice, sir. I won't forget the dead, but my efforts will be for the living. A wise attitude. Yeah, don't lose yourself in the process. Don't forget your safety. No, it is, but it's a wise attitude. That was, that's... I've no doubt 
That is a wise and useful attitude in this part of town. To be completely honest with you, I am also doing this for myself. If I'm destined to survive this epidemic, I need my life to have some purpose. Okay. Oh, she's now totally... We've got every hint for her. So, she just wants to be useful. She is a force for good. Definitely glad we saved her. Hopefully this will put Whitechapel back into the stable at least. Maybe even go to healthy. Now that I've healed everyone. Do you still think about your departed husband? Of course I do. I'll never forget my beloved Matthew, but how do I put it? Now I miss him more than I want him back. I know what you mean. And I think it means you're getting better. Maybe death will take me the way it took Matthew. Without warning and without mercy. But until then, I live on. Well, I'm glad I spoke to you after I spoke Goodbye, to Darius. Because it made me feel a little better. However... I won't end up another drunk arsehole littering the streets. Not me. No, but you may end up in prison. First of all, young man, you suck at picking locks. Not that I... What are you doing? Dude, dude, seriously. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. Oh, God, you know what? Goodbye, young man. You know what? I've done all I can do for Whitechapel. I'm hoping... I've repaired some of the damage that I did, unintentionally. But now, it's time to get on with my life. To present myself to the Ascalon Club. 